Let's start with the hundred, lying on your back. You have three leg options. You can keep your legs bent, feet flat on the floor like this. You can come into tabletop and hold here, or you can take your legs out straight and lower them. Pick the option that works best for you where you can control the spine so it stays in neutral. Let's start. Take your arms up to the ceiling. Pick your leg position. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Nod your chin, curl, look through your thighs, and then inhale, pump the arms. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Reach the arms a little longer. Keep them nice and straight. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Three. Two. One. And rest. Next is roll up. Lengthen your legs out long. Take your arms up towards the ceiling, palms face each other. Big breath in to prepare. And then exhale, nod your chin, and roll your spine up, rounding, peeling, and reaching forward past your toes. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, curl backwards, slowly rolling to the floor. Take a big breath in at the bottom. Exhale, nod your chin, roll up, rounding forward, finding that stretch. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, slowly roll to the floor. The idea here is that you keep breathing as we continue, rounding the spine up sequentially. and avoiding any sort of momentum or flopping. Let's do one more. Exhale, nod your chin, look past your toes, rounding forward, reach, sit up tall, and slowly round back down with control to the mat. And from our lying down position, Anchor your forearms and your upper back into your mat. Bring one leg up at a time into the tabletop position. Squeeze your legs together. Now in this position, I want you to really anchor your rib cage, anchor your abdominals and your low back down to the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, you're gonna extend those legs out to that 45. Inhale up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna lift the hips. So I want you to think about reaching those sit bones all the way to the ceiling and bringing those thighs or those upper legs over your face. Now it's really important in this position to keep a nice stable shoulder girdle. So make sure your shoulder blades can touch the mat. We're reaching those sit bones up towards the ceiling. We're gonna flex the feet, open the legs, tap the toes, down towards the floor and begin to keep slowly articulating the spine all the way down. Now use your upper body to slowly lower and then circle the feet around. Inhale up towards the ceiling. Exhale, reach those toes right over your head as if there was a string pulling your toes in the crown of the head away from your shoulders. Keep your shoulders on the mat. Flex the feet, open the legs. Tap the toes and slowly roll the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Great job. Inhale, those legs come up towards the ceiling. Exhale, shoot those legs over your face. Keep your shoulders in contact with the floor, not that chin just a little bit. Lift. So I'm lifting my hips up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet, open the legs, crease right at that thigh where the thigh meets the hip, tap the toes, slowly roll down. 
You want to keep that midsection really long if you can. Try not to collapse through the core. Inhale here. Exhale. Lift. Lift those sit bones up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet. Open the legs. Tap the toes. Stay off of your neck. Slowly roll the body down. Here we go. One more time. Lift. Flex. Open. Tap. And slowly roll it down. Whew. Moving on to one leg circle. In this exercise, we're going to lengthen the legs out long and move one leg in the air. The goal here is to keep your hips really stable side to side so they don't rock and keep your back from arching. So your circle may be a little bit smaller or bigger than mine based on how well you can control your torso position. Bring one leg up. You're going to point it towards the ceiling and keep it straight. Or if you have a little bit of um, limited hamstring flexibility, you can soften the knee. Think about working where the thigh is, less about bending and straightening the knee. From here, take the leg in the air across the body, swing it down toward the floor, out to the side, and back up again. Exhale, down, around, and up. Again. Cross that body, three, stable hips, two, and one. Bring it up, reverse direction, around, down, across, and up. Good, press into the floor with the other leg, and three, and two, and one. Lower your leg. Let's switch legs. Bring your other leg up. Whew. Mine's a little different side to side. We start by going across the body and down. Breathe out. Inhale up. Again. Good. Three. Two. One. Reverse. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your leg. Rolling back. So those knees are in tabletop. We're going to hold on to those shins. I want you to push your shins into your hands and pull your hands into your shins. You're going to lift the hips to rock it back towards your shoulders. Then your nose is going to point towards your pubic bone as you rock yourself up, okay? So now that we're in this sitting position, I want you to lift your toes above the mat. Use those biceps. Pull those shins in towards your chest. Push your shins into your hands. Round through the low back. So that rounded spine is already rounded. We want to really focus on rounding that low spine. You're going to look towards your pubic bone. Keep your head tucked. You don't want to smack it on the floor behind you as you roll back. We're going to articulate through that low back first. Inhale back. Exhale, roll it up. Balance on those sit bones. Inhale back. Exhale, roll it up. Back and up. Beautiful job. Keep pushing into those shins, modification, hold behind the thighs. And up. And up. Good job, last one. And hold. Single leg stretch. This is a quick interruption to say that if you like this video, you should check out the Flexio Reformer, a studio grade reformer designed to fit in your home and your life. You'll never wonder how you're doing or what to do next with the award-winning online studio that delivers real-time feedback and after-class report cards. Go to FlexiaPilates.com to learn more. All right, back to your video. Hug your knees into your chest. Curl up, look through your thighs. Extend your right leg out straight and long. Point your toes. Hug your left knee into your chest. Take a big breath in, exhale, switch, switch, 
switch. Good, six. Six, can you curl up a little higher? Good, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Hug your knees, roll down. Next is double leg stretch. Bring your legs in towards your chest, hug your knees, and bring your chest up towards your thighs. Look through your thighs. From here, extend your arms overhead and your legs straight out at 45 degrees. Exhale. <sighs> Circle your arms, hug your knees. Exhale, reach and circle. The higher your legs toward the ceiling, the easier it is to maintain a strong core. Good. Exhale, reach, inhale, circle and hug. And three, curl up a little higher. And two, last one, rest. Roll up to seated for spine stretch forward. Have a seat on your sits bones. If this is an uncomfortable position with your legs out in front of you, go ahead and add a yoga block underneath your butt or a folded up blanket to give you some height. And that will allow you to sit up nice and straight with your legs out in front of you. Legs are about shoulder width apart. Flex your ankles, press those heels into the imaginary wall behind you. Take your arms out in front of you. Now articulate your spine down and forward. As you exhale, pulling the belly button back, reaching the arms forward. Breath in, exhale, round the spine back up again. Same thing, exhale, pull the belly in as you round forward. Inhale at the bottom, feel that stretch. Exhale, articulate back up, nice and tall. Two more. As you round down and reach, keep your shoulders plugged in to your upper back. Beautiful, one more time. Okay, our exercise today is open leg rocker. Here we go. Let's go ahead and you're going to bring your feet into that wide V position. We're gonna sit up high on our sit bones. We're gonna start by grabbing behind the thighs here. We're gonna rock back so that we've got our legs lifted and our toes balancing above the mat. Now you can stay here for open leg rocker if you like. Otherwise, you're gonna extend that left leg, hold on to that ankle, extend that right leg. We're in this nice, beautiful teaser position. Roll those shoulders down your back, look towards your pubic bone, round through that low spine. Inhale, rock it back onto your shoulders. Inhale, find your teaser. I'm sorry, exhale, find your teaser. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, <laughs> find your teaser. That's okay, it doesn't always have to look pretty. Rock. And up, find your teaser. And rock. And up, find your teaser. It's okay to kind of let the pressure go in the legs when you rock back, and then use the weight of your legs as you lift up. Now remember, you can always take it behind the thighs. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, rock it forward. Moving on to corkscrew. We're gonna walk our sit bones down the mat just a little bit. And we're gonna slowly articulate the spine down one vertebrae at a time. So similar to that rollover, how we lifted those hips up towards the ceiling, we're gonna apply that same strategy for our corkscrew. So I want you to bend your knees into the tabletop position. We're going to go into a rollover and then we're going to move the pelvis while maintaining that upper shoulder girdle stability. So 
I want you to bring your legs up towards the ceiling. We're gonna inhale here, exhale. I want you to find your rollover position. So exhale, roll over so the legs are over the face. We're gonna crease at the hip joint here, lift those sit bones up towards the ceiling, push your triceps into the mat. So you really want to feel that upper body engage. Now here, we're gonna twist the hips. So think about moving your right sit bone to the wall away from you and moving that right sit bone towards your, I'm sorry, your left sit bone towards your left shoulder, but don't let the hip drop. Pretend like you have a cup of coffee sitting on that tailbone. Then we're going to articulate through the spine on that right side, circle down and around to the left side. We're gonna exhale, roll over up on this left side. Woo, with those hips at that angle. Make sure you're lifting through the right and left hip. We don't want to have any of those hips, either of those hips, dip down. So we wanna rest that coffee right on that tailbone. Shift the legs back over the face. Now we're gonna go back the way we came. So we're going to shift that left hip towards the wall behind us, lifting that right hip. We don't wanna dip in that left hip either. Articulate down the spine on that left side. Circle down and around to the right. Woo! Lift it up and then come back to center. Let's do two more. So one more on each side. Keep lifting those sit bones. Rotate. Articulate. Maintain core stability. Woo! And my triceps are feeling this. All right, back the other way. And back to center. And then slowly roll it down. Okay, grab behind the legs. We're going to rock ourselves up. It's time for saw. We're going to open up the legs, mat width, move any flesh kind of out of the way so we can sit up nice and tall on our sit bones. We're going to bring our arms out to a T, palms face forward. Flex at the feet. We're gonna twist through the spine. So the upper body, that torso is gonna twist. The feet, however, do not twist. We know if we're twisting through the hips, if our legs do this little motion here, right? So we don't wanna do any of that through the hips. We wanna move it just through that torso, just through that rib cage. So let's twist so that the chest is over the left foot. Bring your right pinky towards the left pinky toe and then Flip the left arm so that thumb side down is reaching behind you. Now we're gonna articulate through the low back, bend at the hips, try to saw off your pinky toe as you reach your fingers on that left hand in the opposite direction. Then we're gonna articulate up through the spine on that diagonal, flip the left hand so it faces forward and twist back to face forward. Now we gotta do it on the other side. Twist so that the chest is over that right leg. Left pinky comes to saw the left pink, or right pinky toe. Reach the right hand, flip thumb side down. Reach, saw off that pinky toe. Inhale here, exhale, slowly articulate up the spine on that diagonal line. Flip so that the thumb faces up and come back forward. Let's go to the left. Twist, saw. Articulate, twist, twist, saw. Articulate, twist, twist, saw. Up, forward, twist, saw. Up, and forward. Moving on to swan dive. Go ahead and cross your ankles. Come up onto all fours, and we're gonna find ourselves lying in a stomach position. Now there's a few different ways we can do our swan dive, so I'm gonna show you a couple uh, different versions. So the first swan dive, we're gonna bring our arms out to the outsides of our shoulders. We've got activity through the legs. I want you to slowly press into those hands, lift the chest, engage through the belly, 
lower the chest, and then use your glutes, lift the legs. And then rock it back, press up through the front. And bend the elbows, lift the legs through the back. So this is a great start. If you need to, you can extend the hands out further, depending on what your body needs today. And we're just gonna find a little rocking motion here. Then the next phase is we're going to let go with our hands, okay? So you're going to stack your hands, bring them to your forehead as we rock forward. So it looks something like this. Woo! Rock it. Tighten those abs. Woo! Yes. Good. Awesome. Full swan dive means those arms reach out in that swimmer out in front, okay? So triceps engage with the mat as we roll forward. So we're going to rock, lift. Ooh. And come back and rest. Come up onto your elbows for single leg kick. Press down into your elbows, chest up, shoulders down, gaze forward. Pull your pubic bone towards your nose and lengthen your legs out long. We're going to bend one knee, pulse your heel toward your butt twice. <laughs> lengthen the legs, switch. <laughs> switch. Exhale, exhale, lengthen. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Flex the ankle toward your butt and point the toe when it goes toward the floor. Two more sets. <laughs> Beautiful, nice work. For double leg kick, take your hands behind your low back and interlace your fingers. If this isn't accessible to you, place your hands on the floor just under your shoulders. We're going to inhale, swing the chest up, look forward. Exhale, lower the torso, kick the heels three times towards your butt. Inhale, chest up, lengthen the legs. Exhale, lower and kick. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, kick, kick, kick. Inhale, up. Kick, kick, kick. Chest swings forward. Kick, kick, kick. Two more. Lift. Kick, kick, kick. Last one. Kick. Kick, kick, rest. Come onto your back for neck pull. Now, this exercise is called neck pull, but you should not actually pull on your neck. We're building on the roll up with two big differences. First, arm position. Hands come behind your head, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. And when you roll back down to the mat, we're gonna add a little hinge into a roll. If you cannot roll up with your hands behind your head, you are welcome to continue practicing with your arms out in front, just like the roll up. To begin, take a big breath in. Exhale, nod your chin, roll up, round forward. Sit up nice and tall. From here, hinge backwards, and then curl the tail under and roll to the mat. Beautiful, do that again. Exhale, round forward over the thighs, sit up tall, hinge backwards, and roll to the floor. Beautiful, one more time. Sit up tall, hinge, and then curl and roll to the floor. Let's move into scissors and bicycle. So again, this rollover is coming in real handy for these other exercises. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find your rollover position. Inhale, legs up, exhale, use those triceps, press through that upper body, lift those hips, bring your hands now and elbows in tight to support those hips, fingers towards your glutes, thumbs towards the outside. 
All right, now you're gonna create this little shelf. So I want you to bend your knees, drop your hips into your hands, okay? So you might need to readjust whoop, where those hands are, all right? And we're gonna sink our hips into our hands. We're gonna extend the legs up towards the ceiling and we're gonna scissor here. Scissor, 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 scissor. The other option or the other exercise we're gonna do is bicycle. So now, the leg that's lower is gonna bend as you straighten the other leg, and then you're gonna extend. So we're gonna paint the floor with those toes. Paint. Whew. I got some tight hamstrings today. And then reverse. Now we're going to whew, scoop the floor. Good. Scoop. Scoop. Woo! Yes. And bring both knees in and rock it down. For your bridge, take your arms down long by your side on the floor. Press them into the floor. Bend your knees so your feet are flat on the floor. Take a big breath in and then exhale. Roll your hips up, lifting them off the floor. Breathe in at the top. Exhale, roll the spine down to the floor. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, roll the pelvis, peeling your spine bones up one at a time. And then slowly chest and then low back and then butt hit the floor. Keep going, pressing the feet into the floor, sending the knees out toward your toes, lengthening your front body. Three more. Two. And last one. Roll up to seated. We're going into spine twist. Take your legs out long in front of you, about the width of your mat. Flex your ankles. If this is really uncomfortable and you can't sit up nice and tall with your legs out straight, Find a pad, a yoga block, a folded up blanket to put underneath your butt so that you can elevate a little bit and get this nice uh, right angle at your hips. From here, take your arms out to the side like a T. We are going to twist the spine just like the exercise name says. On your exhale, turn your chest to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn the chest to the right. Inhale, center. As you turn, see if you can get taller, as if someone is pulling your head up by a string. Keep your hips nice and square and centered. And make sure you avoid your arms leading the way. They stay out, they follow your chest. Good, one more, then we'll add on. We're gonna add a little double twist here, or a little pulse. So twist to the side, <sighs> inhale, center. Twist, <sighs> <sighs> inhale, center. Twist, and center. <sighs> <sighs> Good, grow taller. <sighs> Beautiful. Ready for jackknife.
press your arms down onto the mat long. They're going to be your stable base. Bring your legs into tabletop. Now extend your legs out long and then lift your legs and your hips overhead. Tap the floor with your toes. Press your straight legs up and then slowly roll your spine down to the mat. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, legs long, exhale, up and over. Come only onto your shoulder blades, not onto your neck. Legs come straight up, cinch from the waist, and slowly roll your spine to the floor. Good, keep that breath working for you. Strong arms into the mat, beautiful, tall as you can. Slowly roll down to the floor. Nice job. Roll onto your side for side kick. Support your head in your hand or let your head rest on your bicep if your shoulder or your neck don't like this position. Top hand comes onto the floor in front of you. Legs lengthen out and swing toward the front edge of your mat. Now lift your top leg. Inhale, swing it forward, flex the ankle. Exhale, press it back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep your spine neutral. Beautiful. So we're not letting the back round or arch as your leg moves. Your hamstring flexibility might limit you here. That's okay. Good. Now we're going to add a little kick, kick at the front. So we swing forward, kick, kick, and press back. Inhale, kick, kick and back. Good. Two more. Beautiful. Let's switch sides. Lengthen the legs out long. Swing them to the front edge of the mat. Lift your top leg, lengthen it. Find a long waist. Swing forward and press back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, flex the ankle. Exhale, point the toe. Good. Now let's add the kick, kick. Kick, kick, and press. Exhale. We're gonna now go into our teaser, the quintessential pose and exercise that we know, or that Pilates is known for. So let's go ahead and roll onto our backs. We're going to extend those legs and those arms out in opposite directions. Some people might want to start with their arms here, pointing up towards the ceiling. That can also engage the core. If this is too much on the low back in the rib cage and we're struggling to keep it towards the mat, we're going to bring our arms here. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, we're going to lift the legs. And we're going to reach those arms overhead. And then we're going to slowly bring the arms back down towards the floor, articulate through the low back, lower the legs, lift the arms. And we're going to go. Exhale, roll it up, articulate. Lift those arms up overhead. Bring those arms back down towards the floor. Keep those legs. Now, if your lower back is lifted, you're going to lift those legs a little bit higher. Bring those arms up. Exhale. Ah! Woo! And slowly articulate down. Oh! Ha! Huh. That's a big one. Good job. Now it's time to find our hip twist position. So I want you to find the tips of your fingers. We're going to make this teaser position here. Push out of the shoulder. So we want to round the shoulders back and open the chest, we're going to find our teaser position. So if you need to, you can hinge back a little bit more. If you need to place your hands on the mat, otherwise we're going to be on our fingertips. 
We're gonna lift one hip into tabletop, the other hip into tabletop, or knee into tabletop. Now you can do these hip twists originally with the legs straight. I'm gonna keep them bent today. We're gonna tip the hips to the right, circle down and around to the left, bring it back to center, and then to the left, down and around to the right, back to center with the legs extended to the right, down and around to the left, and to the left, woo, I'm cramping in my feet, down and around to the right. We're gonna transition into swimmer now. So I want you to cross your ankles, bring your hands in front, roll onto your stomach. Today is going to be swimmers. So I want you to extend those legs nice and long behind you. You're going to extend your arms out in front and I want you to hover your forehead right above the mat. Now I want you to engage your core first. So I want you to feel like there's a little corset around that midsection. It's pulling a little bit tight. We're gonna hollow out the core just a little bit, find a little scoop. Then we're going to lift the legs, lift the arms, lift the chest, and we're gonna alternate. So left hand lifts, right leg lifts, then right, then left, left, then right. And we're reaching those toes and those fingertips in opposite directions. Keep swimming. Just like Dory, keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We got it. reach, reach. Don't forget about your core, shoulders down your back. And relax. Our next exercise is going to be leg pull back. Now be mindful if you have wrist problems, you can actually achieve this if you're in a forearm position or if you wanna make a fist, you can do that as well. We're also gonna show you a way to modify with the legs. So to begin, we're gonna start in a seated position. Legs out in front. We're gonna bring our fingertips behind. So fingertips are pointing in towards you. We wanna find a nice triangle position here between the wrist, the hip, and the armpit. So there's a little triangle position here. Rolling the shoulders back, lifting the chest up. This is an extreme stretch in your wrist, so be Mindful, if this is not in your body today, you can find a fist position or you can come down onto your forearms. Just make sure that you're lifting your chest in this position, okay? Depending on the length of your body, it's gonna feel different for different people. I'm short torso, short legs, but if you have longer legs or longer arms or a longer torso, it's gonna feel slightly different, okay? So we wanna anchor, pointing our toes, we want to anchor those heels into the mat, but keep the knees relatively soft. So we don't want to straighten through the back of the knees. We just want to push our heels into the mat. Then the idea is that we're going to try to tap our toes to the mat when we lift our hips. So I'm going to look forward and my eyes are going to follow the direction of my hips. So I'm going to lift my hips, try to tap my toes to the mat. My eyes are going to go up towards the ceiling. Reposition if you need to. And then we're going to take that right leg and we're gonna lift it five times. Two, three, four, and five. And then we can flex the hips down, take a small break, readjust if we need to. And then we're going to press it up again. And left side, left. Two, three, four, five. Set those hips down. Now a variation of this, is to bring the feet flat to the mat here. And we're gonna take a nice deep inhale, exhale, flex at the hips. Now, if you'd like, extend that right leg and lift here. Or if you'd like, keep the knee bent and lift here. All of those will work. We're now gonna go into leg pull front. So you're gonna find a nice strong plank position. Hands are underneath the shoulders, soften the elbows, take your right leg back, and then your left leg back. And we wanna find a nice strong plank. So we're pulling those lower abdominals up towards the ceiling. The back of the neck is nice and long. Eyes gaze towards the front of the mat. We're gonna pull that right knee in and keep it nice and low towards the mat. And then we're gonna set it back. And then the left. Good, now if you wanna do all on one side first, you can do all on the right. You can even point your toe behind you. 
or you can alternate. Just make sure you even out. Keep pulling those abdominals up on the side that's working. All right, shake out those wrists if you need to. We are going to go into side kick kneeling, okay? So I'm standing, or kneeling rather, on my knees with my knees directly underneath my hips. I'm going to take my arms to a T position and I'm going to tip myself like a teapot. Any direction is fine. Tip like a teapot until you can bring that hand that's closest to the mat down to the mat. Great job. Now take that top hand, bring it behind your head and push your head into your hands a little bit. Open that elbow nice and wide. Take that top leg and extend it out toward the other side of the mat. Now you might need to readjust the hips, but you wanna make sure that the hip is over the knee as much as possible, okay? So in this position, we're gonna pull the abs in and up. We're gonna lift that right leg, big stretch through the hips. Flex the foot, bring it forward, point the toe, bring it back. Now you wanna mitigate any swing through the upper body. Now my hips are so tight, so this exercise is extremely hard for me. And you wanna to try to keep your foot as parallel to the floor as possible, flexing at the hip and squeezing through the glute to bring the leg back. And then tip yourself back up and go over to the other side. And we're going to tip, set the hand down, bring the hand, or bring the leg out, excuse me. And that left hand or that top hand comes behind the head, push into your head a little bit, Lift that top leg, flex the foot, bring it forward, point the toe, kick it back. Flex the foot forward, point the toe, bring it back. Now each side is gonna feel a little bit different. That's okay. Flex it forward, point the toe, use your glute, bring it back, keep the upper body nice in alignment. Woo! Last one. Back, set the foot down all the way up and realign. We're now gonna move into side bends. Now remember a lot of these exercises are advanced mat exercises. So do your best and modify as you go, okay? You don't have to do the full expression. So to begin in side bend, we are going to take that bottom leg, bring it out to the side. So I'm sitting on my right hip, my right leg is extended. I'm gonna take my top leg, which is my left leg, and I'm gonna cross the ankles over at the bottom. So top leg goes in front. Then I'm gonna scut, scut, scoot. I'm going to scoot my hips towards my heels. So the inside of my top foot is pushing down on the mat, and the outside, that pinky side of my bottom foot is pushing into the mat. So I'm on the sides of my feet, but I'm pushing opposite sides into the mat. Now, for this one, you wanna scoot your sit bones as close to your heels as possible, and we wanna reach that bottom arm as out as far as possible that we can maintain that shoulder stability. So if you're feeling any pain or pinching, you might be a little too far out, okay? The reason why we need it so far out is because when we go into that side bend, we don't wanna be so far over our arm that we feel a little unstable. So bring that top arm towards your heels, and we're gonna shoot ourselves up and over so that our shoulders are in alignment. And we're gonna lift that bottom oblique up towards the ceiling. So I'm going to lift my hips, scoot over that wrist, lift that bottom oblique up and over, arch that left arm overhead. And then as we come down, we're gonna bring our hips back towards those heels. So I'm back at that angle. And then we're gonna lift up and reach. This is one of my favorite lateral flexion exercises. And down, mainly because it's so fun, because you gotta find that diagonal line to come back down. And you just wanna tap that hip, so almost at a little hover here. One more here, lift, and down. Excellent job, let's go to the other side. We're gonna swing the legs around. Now my left hip is on the bottom, and the outside pinky side toe is on the mat. My right leg is on top. It's gonna cross over in front. My ankles are crossed. I'm gonna scoot my hips towards my heels, 
extending that bottom arm out. My right hand comes to my heels. And here we go. Let's side bend over that left arm. Here we go. Up and arc, pulling that left oblique up. Come back down on that diagonal. Tap, lift and arc, and come back down. Lift and arc. Oh, yes. And come back down two more. Lift, arc. Come back down on the diagonal. Tap and lift. Whew. And bring it down. Good job. Come up to seated with your legs out long in front of you. Cross one ankle over the other. Reach your arms long and forward into a spine stretch forward. Good. Now you're going to sit up tall, roll back towards the floor. Press your arms down into the mat, take your legs up overhead into a rollover, switch the ankles, and now roll up into a teaser. Reach for those feet, circle your arms big and wide and behind you, and then tip forward, circle the arms, reach past your toes. Beautiful, let's do two more. Slowly rolling down to the mat, taking your legs up and over, pressing into the arms for support as you switch your legs, and then slowly come up into teaser with control, circling the arms, rounding forward, reaching the arms past the feet, and one more time, rolling to the floor. Use your breath here, stay tall and long, and roll up into teaser. Beautiful arms and diving forward, reach past the toes and come up to seated. Time to have a little fun with seal puppy. Okay, just like rolling or rolling back, we want to find that nice deep C curves. We're trying to bring our shoulders over our hips as best as possible. Now we're going to take our hands, take our elbows inside our legs. And we're going to grip underneath the calves and hold the outsides of the feet, okay? So if you need to start, you can start with your legs on the ground and then roll back. I find that a little bit more challenging than just bringing one leg up at a time, balance, and then bring the other foot together. So in this position, I want you to actually engage that upper body. So you're going to push your elbows into your inner thighs and squeeze those legs into your arms. That's going to help give you that activation to roll up and back. So let's go ahead and roll first, just rolling, just like rolling back. We're going to tuck, pull the lower abdominals in, look towards that pubic bone, roll back and roll up, roll back and roll up, roll back and roll up. Good job. Now we're going to add the clap. Okay. So now keep pushing those elbows into those inner thighs. Keep hugging those thighs onto those arms. We're going to pull those abdominals in. We're going to clap three times. Clap your toes together. One, two, three. You're going to roll back, hold it onto your shoulders. Woo! Lift those hips. Clap. One, two, three. Exhale up. Balance. One, two, three, roll back. One, lift those hips. One, two, three, keep looking towards your pubic bone. Roll up. One, two, three, roll back. One, two, three, roll up. One, two, three. Crab is an advanced rolling exercise. We start with the crown of the head on the floor, holding our big toes and legs crossed. We're gonna inhale, roll over the feet, roll back in that nice rounded spine, switch the feet and roll up and over those feet and place the top of the head back on the mat. Now there's no pressure on the top of the head because we're using that really rounded spine, pulling the abdominals up towards the ceiling, switch, grab the big toes and sit up nice and tall. This next exercise is going to be rocking. So I want you to find yourself onto your stomach. Whew. We're going to bend those knees and then we're gonna grab those feet as best we can. Okay, if you have to grab lower, you can grab lower. But then what I want you to do is I want you to lift your chest and you're gonna push your hands into your feet and your feet into your hands. 
But before we do, we need to engage that core. So we want to create this little moon shape or this beach ball shape with our body around. Uh, we want to put that back around that beach ball. So we're going to kick our hands or sorry, kick our feet into our hands and our hands into our feet. Now, just like swan dive, we're going to roll forward and back. So you really want to find that deep extension tightening the core Woo! and relax it back down roll onto your back for control balance position your hands down by your sides flat on the mat they're going to be your anchor as you take your legs up and over i'm going to cue a different arm position but if you are struggling to stay tall and strong out of your neck when your hips are up in the air then keep your hands down by your sides on the mat to give you extra support. That's what Jada Ray will be doing. So bring your legs into tabletop. Inhale, extend the legs out long, and then exhale, roll the legs up and over, lifting your hips. Take your toes as close to the floor as you can, and if you can, hold on to your toes with your hands. Now, keeping one foot and both hands on the floor, take the other leg up towards the ceiling, and then scissor the legs. Switch. Switch. Yes, switch. Keep breathing. Switch. Yes, and exhale deeply to keep your hips high, waist narrow. Last switch here. Both legs come to your hands overhead, and then slowly roll your spine to the floor. Rest. Nice work. Let's go into our Pilates push-up. So standing with those feet underneath your hips, take a nice deep inhale. We're going to articulate the spine just like in a roll down. Keep your knees soft. Slowly roll the body down. Then you're going to inchworm. Walk yourself out onto your mat into a nice strong plank position. Okay? In this plank position, you want to tuck your tail a little bit, pulling those abs up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to give three big push-ups here. So three, elbows in tight, two, last one. Keep pushing through your fingers. Woo! And then we're going to lift the hips up. Stretch that head comes in between those arms. Walk yourself back to your feet. And then slowly roll it up. 